Talk all things Ripple, if we can, and the Ripple Effect. Ripple, the leading provider of digital asset infrastructure for financial services. Uh, congratulations on ticking all the uh, boxes required by the DFSA and the DIFC. Um, what does this mean for you and the team at Ripple? Look, essentially, this is the first, uh, we're the first blockchain-powered cross-border payment solution that have full approval and regulation to operate in the region, which is, you know, extremely exciting. Ripple are a global business, but mm. we're pl really planting the flag in the UAE because we have that level of support from top down in the region. Blockchain is not new, but it might be new to a number of listeners and viewers. You know, it's becoming a lot more mainstream for us at the moment. How is how is it perceived in the financial sector at the moment? Is Look, you know, I've been in the industry and working for Ripple for seven years now. Mm. I can tell you seven years ago when I was in London meeting with large FIs, big multinational banks, that the topic of conversation is very different to what we see today. Yeah. Right. You know, people are looking at ways to implement blockchain and crypto technology into their offerings and really i think that is an advancement in i guess the sector that's a lot of institutional interest that's coming into the into the market and there's a lot more confidence with regulation that allows them to operate in this space so you know the uae has certainly played its uh, played its part from a regulatory perspective to enable um, more interest and i think we're going to see a flurry of um, you know large institutions really kind of adopting this technology